Hey, after having made a bunch of shorts on insane Minecraft players completing crazy speedruns, it made me wonder, could a very below average Minecraft player even compare to these absolute titans of the game? Well, there's only one way to find out. Now, one that I've always wanted to try is getting a diamond as fast as possible. Alright, well, that was easy. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time. No, um, in reality, the one I actually want to do is getting every single Minecraft log. Now, the version I want to do this in is 1.16, as that's the version I made a short on a while ago. Now, this is the current world record holder, the Pezzi, and they did this run in 43 seconds. This is a set seed speed run, so here's the seed. He starts his run sprinting over to mine this spruce tree, then after runs to dive into this water, running over to grab this ruined portal chest, getting an axe, and then breaking the chest. Next, running to mine these acacia, dark oak, spruce, oak, and lastly jungle logs. With that, he acquired every overworld log and used the ruin portal to get to the nether. And finally, once teleported through, they get warped then crimson wood, finishing their run at 43 seconds and 833 milliseconds. That is incredibly fast, and spoiler, I won't get anywhere near that. But what I do hope to achieve is getting top 10 on the leaderboard. Currently, there are two speedrunners in 9th place who got the exact same time, 47 seconds, 233 milliseconds. So I'll have to beat their time in order to secure a top 10 ranking. For me to achieve this, my goal is to create 1,000 worlds in seven days, which I'll tell you, took over 12 hours. This will be difficult to say the least, especially for me, someone with exactly zero speedrunning background and less than zero ability. What could go wrong? Now, some might call what it did in day one, not having a life or any friends or even a single bit of a social life, but I would rather call it being dedicated because I made 300 worlds and spent almost five hours speedrunning this. And trust me, when I told you I was mediocre in the beginning, I meant it. On the very first run, it went better than I expected. I loaded up into the world feeling hopeful and optimistic. I ran to the first tree getting log number one, spruce. Then I immediately failed to dive into this water, but that's okay because nothing is going to ruin my spirit. Making my way to the ruined portal, I got caught in a vine, then another vine, but that's all right. I made my way to the ruined portal, grabbing the axe and destroying the chest, sprinting to gather up the other pieces of wood. Overall, it was going well. By the time I've made it to the portal, I'm feeling really good about myself. I place in the obsidian, take out my flint and steel, and light the portal. Once teleported to the nether, I run over grabbing this warped wood, then fail the very simple act of jumping, but lastly, I got the final wood. With this, I was able to hold my head high. I felt really good about myself. Honestly, I bet I just got the world record. Guess there's no need to continue this. Wait, what? That was a minute? No, there's gotta be something wrong with the calculations or something, right? I, I, I mean, with that time, I would be ranked number 73. I, I thought I had done so well. I, I thought that I was the best. And now that I knew that feeling could be ripped away within an instant, the world not even showing a shred of remorse, it felt liberating because now I had something to fight for. I would probably not get number one, but I would kind of try. And as an eagle loving American, what more could you ask for? Um, so uh, I may have gotten a little carried away, but you know, my heart's in the right place. I, I think. Anyways, back to the speedruns. Within the five hours I spent that day, for someone who had never speedrun before, I'd say I did pretty well. But there was one thing. Let's look at these two runs. Now, what I did in these runs don't matter, but look at the world. You notice anything weird? Because for some reason, there's a glitch that makes the chunks in this world different, even though I'm using the same seed. I don't know, maybe I just didn't know this and it was actually a widely known thing and I'm the weird one for not knowing it, but nevertheless, it's still a huge pain because sometimes the chunks that change are the exact chunks that have the trees necessary to complete the speedrun. And sometimes those trees will just not be there. I don't know, it's weird and it sucks, especially because one of the main reasons I wanted to do the speedrun was to minimize the RNG. And this bug just basically made the entire run RNG. So, uh... <laughs> Thank you, Minecraft. Anyways, run number two was somehow worse than the first. Right off the bat, as soon as I spawned in, I got lost for 40 seconds. It took me more time
time to mine the first tree than it did for Pepebzi to beat the entire thing. After that, I completed the speedrun, getting a terrible time. But hey, we can only go up from here. On my fifth run, I managed to get my first sub minute. It was honestly a pretty good run. If it wasn't for a couple mistakes and the fact that I didn't pick up the flint steel, it probably would have done a lot better. My next best run was run 10, getting a 56.99. Then the next run, I got a 56.85. Run 30, I got a 56.42. Run 41, I got a 54.19. Then the next improvement took a while, with it being run 152. I got a time of 53.54. And lastly, for day one, the last time I improved was run 200, with a time of 52.42. With that, I had gone from 1 minute, 1 second, and 71 milliseconds to 52 seconds and 42 milliseconds. Almost a 10 second improvement. Regardless of the fact I had spent 5 hours, I feel like that's a pretty good improvement for the first day. After getting the 52 second run, I had banged out another 100 tries, getting a couple close ones, but none that beat it out. Overall, I'm really happy with this first day. Hopefully I can say that about the rest, because God knows I probably won't. Okay, so day two, to be completely honest, was insane. By this point, I had started picking up on a few tricks the world record speedrun uses, such as breaking this vine directly after breaking the chest, so filling in the portal later is quicker, and also breaking this vine so you don't get stuck on it when you're getting the jungle wood. As well, I saw the world record speedrun change the difficulty to easy. I don't know why, but he did it, so I did it too. After figuring all of that out, plus just getting more familiar with the seed and getting faster movement, I went absolutely bonkers. Did I really just put bonkers in the script? I, I knew writing this at 2am wasn't a good idea. <coughs> um, anyways, my first run of the day, I got a pretty unfortunate spawn. As well, I just didn't play very well. But after some tribulations, on my 20th run of the day, I got a new time of 50.14. But if that was it, I wouldn't be building it up nearly this much. Because a couple runs later, I got a sub 50. Of course, it had a couple mistakes. I had to go back and get the spruce because I didn't get it. I got caught in this vine a bit, and I missed breaking this vine. But overall, this run was an accumulation of my five plus hours of practice, and god damn did it feel good. With this time, I had gone from 73rd place on the leaderboards in the beginning of day one to 12th place on day two. I was only two places away from my goal. Oh yeah, and later in the day, I got a time of 48.51, so I was now in 11th place. Place. Pretty crazy to be honest. Anyways. After the massive victory I got in the second day, I was thinking this challenge might be too easy. Was I really about to be one of the top 10 best people in the entire world at getting every log type in Minecraft version 1.16? Nah, no. Because on day 3, disaster struck. Not really, I'm just playing it up. It was... Alright, after having saved over 10 seconds on the second day, maybe my ego was a bit too high, or maybe I didn't sleep well, or maybe I got dementia, or maybe I didn't sleep well. But for whatever reason, I didn't do all too great. My best run that day was 49 seconds, which is still great, but felt kinda bad after the adrenaline rush of day 2. It really just seemed like this day was cursed from the get-go. Run after run after run, the RNG kept screwing me over. I kept making small mistakes, and it was overall pretty unfortunate. At one point, I started to write something out, then immediately gave up on it because it was too much work. What is wrong with me? But I still had four more days left for this challenge. So surely my luck won't stay this bad forever, right? Okay, um, my bad luck definitely didn't stay for day 4. To start out the day, I got a time of 58 seconds, which isn't great, but I only improved from there. Shortly after, I got a time of 50 seconds, then had this beautiful run. I went the fastest I ever have, getting a time of 48.51, which is crazy, but nothing compared to what I would get next.
I had decimated my previous run by over a second with a time of 47.45. This now was able to secure me a solid 11th place, being just one away from my ultimate goal of 10th place. I quickly finished up my runs for the day, feeling insanely optimistic about the next couple days to come. All right, well, day five was rough. One of my first runs, I got a time of 49.3, which isn't bad, but not even close to what I need. As well, the most unfortunate part of this run is right here, because if I had gotten lucky with the wood going towards me, I would have most likely beaten my time. But even then, it wouldn't have been enough to get 10th place, so it ultimately doesn't matter. But still, this set a very poor expectation for how the day would go. Later in the day, I got a run of 49.28, and sadly, that was the best I did. I finished my runs and even later in the day I felt like trying some more and ran 40 more times just for it to still lead to nothing. This day was chock full of unfortunate spawns and terrible RNG that just made it impossible to improve at all. If I ever do do this again I will have to pick something with less RNG because I, I can't do this man. So if you have any suggestions for other speedruns I should try leave a comment. Anyways that's gonna be a wrap on day five let's move on. Well, this is a funny situation. On day six and seven, I didn't improve at all. And uh, it's quite sad. Here's the information for those days in case anyone is curious, but yeah. That's it. I didn't want to drag this out and make this video any longer than it has to be. So instead, just subscribe. All right, let's talk about the final outcome. So the best time I got in all 1,000 runs that took over 12 hours was a 47.45, which I'd say is pretty impressive when I started as an absolute beginner to speedrunning just seven days ago. With this time, I just nearly missed my goal of 10th place getting 11. But that's just the cotton patch guarantee. I'll do it, just... Not that good. Hey, so uh, this is editing cotton. Uh, there were actually new people who beat out Bepezzi. There you go. And so that knocked me down to 16th place now. Um, yeah, bye. But now, this just leaves one question. Are these Minecraft TikTokers lying to you? Well, I figured it out. So go watch that video to see me play detective. All right, bye.